Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the token rewards that you should be picking up, specifically the Amethyst token rewards. I've seen a lot of people debate among different cards, asking a bunch of people on Twitter and the YouTube comments which cards they should pick up specifically when it comes to the Amethyst tier. They also do the same with the Diamond tier, and I will be making a video on that one as well if we get this video to hit at least 800 likes. But yes, among the Amethyst rewards, guys there's been so many arguments on which cards you should pick up and before we do dive into this video if you guys do enjoy this video a like and sub is always appreciated but one thing that they did really cool with the game this year is when you pick out a card there is no longer a blank spot right there so we can now see that there's these eight cards remaining these are cards that probably should not be making your lineup especially because I already had to select 12 these are some that should not make it an arguable one is maybe Bill Russell and Kevin Johnson but that's about it Richard Jefferson is not bad, but he's still got that same slow release that just does not make him it, given that there are a bunch of slow releases in the game. But yes, today we're going to be talking about the top five Amethyst token rewards that you guys should pick up first before deciding to go through with the rest of the 12. These are the ones that are going to end up impacting your team a ton and helping your team out a lot. A lot of people fell for the bait of picking up this Richie Garrett 975 Redemptions, and he is just definitely not it this year. He he just does not have the same ability that he had last year especially with that 65 driving dunk only an 81 ball handle and an 80 speed with ball as a point guard that is not what you want but we're not here to talk about cards that we're not supposed to have we're here to talk about cards that we should have so let me stop rambling and let's jump into the number one spot of amethyst you need to pick up all right, so at the number one position, you guys should not be surprised if you do watch my videos. It is going to be this 91 overall Amethyst Rudy Gay. This card all around is just the perfect card to have on your team. A 92 offensive overall. Yes, I know he does have an 80 defensive overall, but that does not mean that this card is not all around amazing. For those of you that haven't seen my gameplays, you've seen me talk about how this card is actually taller than 6'8 in game. He stands beside centers, and for whatever reason, he looks like he's just as tall as them, but this this card's got some great attributes, man. He's got a great driving layup. He's got the post fadeaway ability, which is always another option on offense, which you can never turn down. Great draw foul. He's got a nice 85 mid range and an 83 pointer. Now, most of you will have a higher than 83 pointer because most people with your coaches will boost your three point shot. But even at an 83 point shot, this card splashes. His release is absolutely amazing, which again, I will show you guys later. later sorry. And it's just great. He's also got a 95 driving dunk. And trust me when I say he catches bodies for people that have been watching my stream they should have seen the dunk he did on the all-time lakers man it was just insane decent ball handling now again his weakness is the defense and sometimes it will be exposable but more times than not you will notice that his defense is really not a problem and another thing i like is the fact that he's got 80 speed and 80 acceleration not many cards especially small forwards in the game this early in the year are very very fast so for us to have the 80 speed and acceleration is already a pretty good thing thing like the diamond glenn rice that is right a card that is worth twice the amount of tokens as this card if not more actually has 76 speed 75 acceleration and like a 66 speed with ball so that's something to really take into account that's really good about this card as well as the vertical the defense again it's all right that 35 defensive consistency sometimes again i will say shows but more times than not you will not notice it and then he's also got 23 gold badges all of which i think are amazing some some to know specifically are the catch and shoot difficult shots relentless finisher uh consistent finisher contact finisher fast break finisher pro touch like he's got a lot of badges and i don't really want to mention all of them dead eye and hot zone hunter are also very good same thing goes for the hot start tireless like there's just a bunch of good badges when it comes to this card but now that i've shown you guys the attributes and the stats let me actually show you what he's like when it comes to freestyle so you guys can really decide all right guys so as you can see we've now got rudy gay here in freestyle this is what his hot zones are looking like so again not too many again when you look at this card on paper he looks very underwhelming but when you actually hop into the animations you can shoot from these cold zones all day and green the shots one thing that's funny about 2k this year is i find that i'm actually greening more shots from the cold zone than the hot zone which is very very odd but as you guys can see 
he's got a very easy release very easy to time same beautiful jumper that he had last year but a lot smoother when it comes to the release off the top the way he flicks his wrist is very nice right now i'm not really hitting any shots to make him look that good but i'm sure those of you who have played rudy gay and stuff know that this card really is elite he really is knocked down going to the rim he's got a lot of beautiful dunk animations and one thing that i mentioned earlier is look how tall he looks like it's pretty obvious that this card is taller than 6'8 but for whatever reason they have him registered at 6'8 again i'm not complaining all around an amazing card his animations are great let me show you what that post fadeaway looks like as well super super easy super super silky to time and if you get it down this card is going to be a menace on your team and that's why this man is number one on the top five amethyst rewards list all right so jumping into the number two position you guys can see that it's going to be the 91 overall amethyst Derek coleman and i know this is something you guys aren't expecting at all some people were thinking michael red other people were thinking basically any other amethyst card but this man but a lot of people are sleeping on cards that aren't hype beasts this year and they are suffering for it and Derek coleman is one of those cards that you're going to want to have on your team if you don't already have a super elite power forward man let's dive into the stats we'll see the animations and you guys will see why 91 offensive overall 87 defensive overall standing at 610 he's got some great attributes especially a decent driving layup at a 79 for a big man he's got the post game as well with the fadeaway the hook and the post moves in general great draw foul amazing mid-range of an 88 a 78 three-pointer that feels like it's a 92 when he's in the corner it's insane great free throw decent dunking ability and his defense all around is actually pretty good for an amethyst with an 82 block and 83 interior defense his his rebounding is there as well his speed is not there but it's something i never really noticed until i started looking at his attributes i never realized he actually that had that low of a speed until i actually took a look at it so it's not something you notice right away great strength though the vertical isn't the greatest but he still grabs boards great hustle lateral quickness again might not be the greatest for a big but top to bottom trust me guys on paper again a lot of these cards just don't look great but on the court this man is a menace and then he comes with 12 gold badges and two silver one that i like that he really has is the gold catch and shoot it does wonders for him especially when you mix it with a pick and popper love the brick wall relentless finisher like as we go down you can see that a lot of the badges he has are going to be very very useful when it comes to using that card especially that silver deep fades his fadeaway animation is also very nice that mixed with the difficult shots makes him an offensive and defensive menace as well but again now that i've showed you guys the attributes and the badges let's hop into freestyle because again the animations are such a big part of whether you want a card or not all right so now we've got our bald-headed friend subbed in here when it comes to freestyle this is what the hot zones are looking for the man so again nothing really too crazy for any of these newer cards but are you guys ready take a look at this release look how beautiful that release man especially off a of catch and shoot the thing is i can't show you what it looks like off a of catch and shoot because we don't have people to pass us the ball this year which really sucks but his release is super super easy man like just look at it it's got that beautiful left hand flick and it's so easy to green in my opinion he does shoot better than rudy gave for me given that he's usually in the corner when he's shooting the shot but just look at how beautiful that jumper is man and the thing is that's not even that's not even as fast as it usually shoots it actually shoots faster again when it's off a of catch and shoot but that's just what it looks like normally when he's dribbling up and pulling up so when you think about it in that sense his release really is really nice card does look like he's 6'10 but again if you think about Rudy Gay he looks like he's actually shorter than Rudy Gay and he's 6'10 so you can really tell how tall they made Rudy Gay when it comes to that but this is what the fadeaway animation looks like to the left he is left-handed so keep in mind that I would fade away from this side if you want to create the most space and have the fastest flick but as you can see it's going down with ease not really a problem the post hook animation nothing really too crazy he can post hook from deep which is really really nice but yeah that post fade away it's not too bad in my opinion it's actually pretty fast so if you can fake people out quick enough he is going to be a good card now again he is a big man so there's no dribble moves or anything to debut but essentially that is what Derek coleman looks like i can't really debut the defense and stuff unless i do a gameplay with this card but most of you are usually really concerned about the shooting animations and stuff because that's make or break for the card and that right there is why amethyst Derek coleman comes in at the number two position 
All right, guys, so jumping into the number three position, we've got this 91 overall Amethyst Michael Red, but no surprise, he is on the top five list. This card is an absolute menace. And like last year in 2K19, card was goaded. He was insane. Release was beautiful. was crazy on the offensive end. And that hasn't really changed when it came to 2K20. The card has managed to maintain that, man. Standing at 6'6 at the shooting guard position, he's got the 91 offensive overall and 79 defensive overall. Again, one thing you will notice is that not all cards are elite defenders like last year unless you are a legitimate elite defender you will not get that kind of status in the game this year so don't worry he still will play decent defense with a nice 81 driving layup he's got an 88 mid-range but he's got the deadly three-pointer standing at a 94 which I know a lot of you guys will love now when it does come to this Michael Red and basically the rest of your team guys I would recommend that you just learn how to shoot with all your players and then turn the shot meter off because when this card shoots with a shot meter off he is a green machine. For those of you that don't know, you actually get boosts in your shot when you shoot with the shot meter off. So if you know a release well enough, you can be lethal with a card. But he's also got a nice free throw, decent ball handling at an 82, which he will be able to speed boost with the right coach. Uh, the speed is something I'm not a fan of, and this goes for really just all cards in the game. He's got an 80 speed and 79 acceleration at the shooting guard position, which isn't too, too bad, but it's not really too, too great either. It's not really something you really notice as well which is why i give more credit again to amethyst rudy gay being a small forward and having the 80 speed and acceleration but all around this card is just amazing great hustle decent lateral quickness at a 74 and i only know we can ramble on and on about these attributes but really it comes down to what the card can do on the court and you guys will see in just a second on the offensive end though is really where this card shines now when it comes to the badges the man's actually got one hall of fame badges an amethyst card which you love to see and nine 19 gold badges hall of fame volume shooter better than it was in previous years it actually boosts your shot percentage as you take more shots throughout the game so really there is no flaw in that but also got the corner specialist he's got the clutch shooter which is really nice the dead eye green machine which is a huge dub hot zone hunter ice and vein so essentially every shooting badge that you want including the range extender is on this michael red which just makes him an absolute menace even the steady shooter which is super op when it comes to takeover a lot of people do hate on that badge, but in TakeOver, it is absolutely annoying. But again, let's go ahead, let's jump into Freestyle, and let me show you what this card's really about. All right, so here we are with Amethyst Michael Red. You can see he's got more hot zones than most, looking at three hot zones around the three, three in the mid-range, one inside, and then the one cold zone. But this is what his jumper looks like. Super, super fast, and again, it is a lefty. Everybody knows that in 2K every year, if you've got a left-handed jumper, you're going to have a nice animation. It is actually pretty quick. I personally have not been using this card very very much i used them a lot when it came to domination but you can see that release is just perfect and it is beautiful i clearly have better cards now such as jason richardson and stuff but that doesn't change the fact that this card is an absolute cop right now i'm not exactly releasing it the best you guys can obviously see that it is a good animation though and for a 94 three-pointer he's going to be amazing and again when it comes to the catch and shoot him animation it's going to be even faster and it's not something i can really show you again because for whatever reason they decided they should take out the two people passing you the ball in freestyle not sure why 2k decided to do that because nobody literally nobody asked for that but uh we're gonna go ahead and try to take a shot from a little bit deeper let's go from the hash here and uh test out that range extender really quick and you can see that it still shows off very very nicely now there is some debates on two cards when it comes to the shooting guard position there is the michael red and there's the allen houston overall michael red is just the better pickup man what this card can do on offense once he gets hot is absolutely insane you can see that jumper the flick of the wrist is so fast and you know when you don't close out in the game this year you really do suffer and michael red really makes sure that you suffer but basically for that reason said enough is why michael red is at this position you can see that he clearly can't dribble because he doesn't have the speed boosting ability unless you are in game with a coach and no crazy dunking either but this card is meant to be a sharpshooter he's meant to be here until you pick up cards like draws in and other stuff but uh yeah that's why we've got michael red here at the number three position all right guys so jumping into the number four position this is a card that's probably gonna surprise a lot of people because most people were probably thinking of a different center and that's going to be this 91 overall amethyst robert parish and i think this is the best center to pick up when it comes to the amethyst token rewards and i know a lot of you guys are going to argue that amethyst deandre jordan is the better move so let's go ahead and let's compare the two 
All right, so as you guys can see, we've got Amethyst DeAndre Jordan on the right and Robert Parrish on the left. And one thing you will notice between uh, Robert Parrish and DeAndre is one is better on offense and one is better on defense. And right here, it really comes down to preference. But even with offense and defense, Robert Parrish, in my opinion, is still the better option. And I will explain to you guys why. You can see that Robert Parrish is seven feet tall in comparison to DeAndre Jordan being at 6'11". Now let's dive into the attributes. The thing about DeAndre is sure he might have defense, but this man literally offers nothing on the offensive end. A 57 driving layup compared to Robert Parrish's 78. Look at the post offense compared to DeAndre Jordan. He can't even do a post hook properly. He's also got the draw foul. Robert Parrish can actually hit the mid-range at a 72 and it will go down. You guys will see him freestyle. He's got the free throw. He's got the standing dunk. Maybe not the driving dunk ability, but still even then offers 600 times more offense than this DeAndre Jordan. You guys can see I have both cards. So for me to recommend the Robert Parrish over DeAndre really says something. Now, one thing you guys obviously want to see is the defensive end. You can see that he's got a 90 block compared to Robert Parrish who's got an 80. But keep in mind, Robert Parrish is also an inch taller than this DeAndre and his arms are even longer when it comes to blocking the shot so that's why that doesn't really matter to me interior defense wise they're pretty similar 95 to 92 and then steel and perimeter is the same when it comes to rebounding Robert Parrish is actually the better rebounder when it comes to speed DeAndre does have that advantage with higher speed but they've essentially got the same acceleration his vertical is also higher but Robert Parrish again he's taller and he's got the longer arms the strength is the same stamina is the same hustle is a bit more on DeAndre's side and then lateral quickness is one over on Robert Parrish's side and then when you look at the defensive side right here Robert Parrish has an 89 pass perception to DeAndre Jordan's 75 so that's something that's very huge when you're trying to catch passing lanes which is why again Robert Parrish is a better option with better offensive consistency with slightly lower defensive consistency and all around just a better card so you can see top to bottom why on paper you definitely want to be going with Robert Parish. Now when it comes to the badges, sure DeAndre has two Hall of Fame badges, but they're nothing that amazing. It's pick and roller and it's pogo stick, which aren't too crazy. I'd rather have all the offensive and defensive badges Robert Parrish already comes with, including brick wall, box, moving truck, worm, back down finisher, contact finisher. Like he's got everything I really, really need, which is why I'm not too worried about it. And then he's also got that uh, bronze rim protector, which I will gladly take now deandre jordan again he does have the gold one but that's not too important to me and then to really show you guys why robert Parrish is better let's hop into freestyle one more time and show you guys this guy's animations all right guys so as you can see we've now got robert Parrish here in freestyle turning on the hot zones they are looking good all right under the basket standing at seven feet tall this is what the shooting animation looks like and it's honestly pretty good for a big man and that's off the standstill into a shot when it comes to a catch and shoot it's even faster super super easy to green as you guys can see which is what surprises me about why people won't pick this card up because in my opinion he's got a really good catch and shoot animation as well especially for a right-handed center because again usually it's the lefties that get all the love but he is actually getting pretty good love when you run a pick and pop with this card he's knocking that down almost every single time and that's it being at a 72 with a coach boost that goes up to damn near 80 and it becomes really really good and then if you've got someone with floor general as well it can go well into the 80s but it's Essentially, that's what his post hook looks like. He's not supposed to miss that at all. I'm not sure if he doesn't have deep hooks, but uh, let me stand a little closer to the basket so he's not embarrassing himself too much. I'm also not timing it the greatest. Uh, when it comes to his fadeaway, it looks pretty good as well. It's something I've used a lot when it's come to my gameplays for anyone that's seen on stream. I love to use his fadeaway a lot. It is super, super saucy, super, super easy to time. And you guys know fadeaways are very hard to guard. So if you can be a master with one of these, you can be unstoppable when it comes to using this card. Car. you can see he's basically knocked down very forgiving jump shot as well and I again I still can't get over the fact that he's got a pretty easy mid-range and with all that being said guys that's why we've got Robert Parrish at the number four position man just an all-around perfect center to have on your lineup all right, so coming in at number five, guys, we've actually got 91 overall Amethyst Shane Batty. Now, some people might be wondering, how is it not Reggie Theus? He's a 6'7 point guard. Yes, he's a 6'7 point guard with absolutely terrible defense and 70 speed as a point guard. I would rather take a 5'7 Isaiah Thomas than someone who's going to be that slow as a point guard on the court. But Shane Batty, the main reason I told you guys that you should pick him up when it comes to Amethyst rewards is because you need someone that actually has defense on your team. And when 
when it comes to this card he's nothing but a3 and d which is something you definitely need on your team 81 offensive overall sure but that 95 defense is so clutch when it comes to the clutch moments when there's times where rudy gay isn't playing the defense you want him to that's where you want the shane battier man he's got an 82 driving layup an 82 mid-range and an 85 three-pointer so he can definitely knock it down he's got a decent driving dunk at an 80 but this card is not well known for the offense again it's the defensive end where he really shines and you can see it here with an 84 steel 89 perimeter defense even a 70 interior is honestly not that bad now his speed isn't the greatest so you will be sacrificing that but again he will be locking up 89 lateral quickness is not something you see on every card and 90 defensive consistency as well 92 pass perception like this man is annoying on defense you get off balled by this man you're not getting the blow by animations you wanted you're not getting anything you wanted he's essentially going to lock you down and make sure you don't score now he doesn't have hall of fame clamps or anything but he sure does feel like it this early in the year uh, he comes with steady shooter though catch and shoot corner specialist so if you catch this man in the corner with those three badges it is basically a gg he also has pick and popper which is really really nice although he cannot run at the four which does kind of suck you still can run pick and pops with your small forwards pick dodger is very nice clamps defensive leader heart crusher interceptor lightning reflexes like you can see this man is going to be annoying on the defensive end and he's even got that off ball pest trapper tireless defender like whatever you need done on defense this man will get it done for you and that's what makes this card so amazing you need someone who's going to be able to play defense like this especially in tight situations on your team but uh let's go ahead let's hop into freestyle and let's see our last cards animations here all right so last but not least shane baddie we've got him in freestyle this is what the hot zones are looking like so one good thing about this card is that he's got no cold zones whatsoever he's got nice hot zones around the three mid-range even under the basket and one thing that's actually funny about shane baddie is this card is always in the game at the beginning of the year we got a shane baddie at the beginning of the game last year as well in 2k17 there was that um sapphire shane baddie that you could get from the grizzlies if you locked in the grizzlies collection and in 2k18 i believe there was a ruby or sapphire shane battier that was available right away but all around the cards got a pretty easy and quick release the only thing you'll really notice about this card as a small forward is his speed and transition and getting back on defense like he once he's locking up he's locking up but it's getting back he's got it you got to limit transition when it comes to this card because he's just not very fast and that's one reason why i don't really like him too much he's still a good card that's just one reason why i don't like him but other than that this card really does everything the catch and shoot again when you get the hang of it all jumpers in the game are pretty easy and all cards i showed you have really really easy jumpers you don't see anyone that's got a slow animation or that's got an awkward flick or anything shane battier he is going to get the job done and again him not having any cold zones is always a bonus hot zone central with him having hot zone hunter and everything is definitely going to be him or you catching him in all the right positions to score and that's why i've got this card at the number five position now obviously i can shoot as much as i want but where this card is really going to shine is on the defensive end like i mentioned earlier as long as you figure out his jumper and you knock him down in transition where he's really going to shine is the defensive end and that is what you need on your lineup whether you bury him on the bench no matter how much you don't want to use him just keep him on your lineup because there will be a time where you're going to need to guard a michael jordan a jason richardson a dominique wilkins and you have no idea what to do that's where this man comes in and that's where he clamps him up and does the job for you it's super super big to have a defender in this game especially because if you're not a good defender in this game you really do get exposed so he definitely helps you out a lot in that category but essentially this is going to sum it up for my top five amethyst token rewards if you guys have any questions as to why someone isn't in the top five ask me down in the comment section below and i will gladly explain that to you guys but these top five guys are very definitely the solidified top five in my opinion i don't see any other cards in the collection topping these five cards off and that's kind of why i have them once you have these five cards feel free to pick up anything else you want but these five should definitely be the priority but with that being said guys this is going to be the end of the video if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazion nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care